Okay, so what was the idea? If the gradient in training and actuation is quantized in a DNN, and if the gradient of this quantized DNN is everywhere zero, like signum function, we cannot use standard, standard backpropagation. It is inapplicable. We must find another way to do it. That was the idea. Well, there is an effective way to go around this issue, actually. It is, we construct a non-trivial direction to properly modify the chain rule. What I'm trying to say is, actually, your gradient is like a search in the parameter space. You have a weight space. We have discussed this in the previous semester's course. You are searching for the right weights. And in order to, the weights can be of any value. So in the weight space, which is n-dimensional for each layer, you are searching for a perfect value. And each time you do a search, you are looking at a value and you are checking the loss. Is the loss okay? Or what is the gradient of the loss is going? So you are checking the gradient of the loss with respect to the weights. So if I go this direction, the loss will decrease. This is the direction you are searching. So if you don't do, uh, if you can't get any gradient value because of uh, the uh, signum function, because the gradient is zero, you choose a non-trivial search direction where, the, where you can continue the search in the weight space. Well, instead of the zero derivative, we use a substitute, a surrogate, which is called the straight-through estimator. Uh, we, they call this proxy derivative because it is not actual derivative, but it's proxy derivative. It is used in the backward pass only. So instead of signum, we uh, use in backward pass this derivative, but in forward pass, we use signum as usual. So it is referred to as the straight-through estimator. What, what is an estimator? We just asked the question in the previous video. What is an estimator? Guys, estimator is, in statistics and signal processing, is a rule for calculating an estimate of a given quantity. So in this case, instead of the real gradient of signal, which is zero everywhere, we are calculating an estimate of it. Usually in statistics, estimators are calculated on observed data, where uh, the quantity of uh, the interest uh, are distinguished. So if you want to know what an estimator is or observed data is, you just keep on statistics, there's the estimator, or you just read estimators. And if you have taken a stochastic signal, signal processing course, uh, which is 467 in our department, uh, estimators uh, are a subject under that uh, course. So you remember it, or if you have, don't know them, just you can uh, learn them. It is about stochastic signal processing. Sorry. Uh, so a good example is the mean value, guys. So for a distribution, imagine you have a distribution fx. The distribution, let's say, the, uh, the uh, temperature of the day weather in uh, April. You have 30 days, so you have a distribution. It could be 10 degrees or 20 degrees. There's a distribution, there's a theoretical distribution. Usually theoretical distributions are impossible to get because nobody uh, will provide you a function for it. I mean, if God comes and gives you the function for the April weather, well, yeah, you have it, but you, you cannot have it. If you had it, the expected value is calculated this way. X times the distribution integrated over all values. That's the expected value. So that's what you should expect. But you cannot get it because this is the theoretical value. So mean value, which is the average of collected samples, is an estimator for the expected value. So the theoretical value, the observed value. This is called an estimator. In our case, we are not using observed data. We are still using an estimator. So let's understand this estimator, guys. We are trying to find the estimator for the gradient of the signum function. This is the signum function, simple. In forward pass, it is for non-negative positive, for negatives, negative, zero. For non-negatives, uh, it's plus one. It's for uh, negative values, it's zero. The derivative of it is, at this point, it's a Dirac delta, it's infinity value. Other than that, it's zero. It's zero almost everywhere because it's infinitesimally small, this value is. Okay, let's forget it. So what gradient we can use instead? 
A straight through estimator is a way of estimating the gradients for a threshold operation like signum in our case, in a neural network. Okay, we know this. We are going to estimate it. As we can see, the derivative of the threshold function will be zero during backpropagation, which won't stop the learning. So the concept of straight through estimator is that you set the incoming gradients thres threshold function equal to the outgoing gradients. I repeat, the concept is you have some gradients coming in, you make them equal to the ones going on. It is like the gradients are going straight through inside, but with a rule. We are going to clip them with a rule. Not without a rule, but with a rule. But the idea is the gradient, let the gradient flow straight through inside. That's why it's called a straight through gradient. Not without any uh, conditions. Let's see what the conditions are, guys.